Hi, this is Shadi. I think it's safe to say now that Maruyama is probably the most robbed athlete out there. Yesterday there was the Paris Grand Slam. I'll get to the final and the quote score, but this is nothing new. After the last World Championship, I came out with a video and one of my main concerns was the standard of scoring and it seems that it is just keep going down and now everything is a score apparently just if your hands look like you are trying to throw but let's not forget that this has been happening quite a long time especially with Maruyama this very long fight where Abe had a million shidos uh, look at the wrist grips the multiple wrist grips the grabbing of the leg the skirt uh, the wrist again like I said multiple uh, times and uh, of course giving Maruyama two shidos very early on clearly affecting his mental state look at his coach there uh, clearly showing the referee that uh, he is blocking his arm and yet nothing and uh, here he throws him without his hands magically and uh, it was given a wazari and yesterday this atrocity happened this is just a newaza situation come on i mean i i ran out of words to say tucking your opponent in bed is not a throw here this is just newaza i was already on the ground just like the abe situation and he's just trying to roll him over maybe he could get a pin now let me give you some point of reference about old scoring uh, criteria. You see this magical throw. Look at the referee. It earned a coca. Coca, yuko, wazari, and then ipon. Now it seems like everything is a wazari or even an ipon, and it's absolutely ridiculous. So here he's already sitting down and all of this, and he's on top of him. He rolls him over, and now suddenly it's a throw. We forgot the criteria of impact, strength, uh, speed, uh, all these important criteria for an Ippon, especially a throw where you are supposed to be a specialist, but no, now everything is uh, a throw, including tucking your kids in bed. So I don't know why this keeps uh, happening and uh, the quality production of the videos clearly seems great. Uh, if you look at the montage of Basile and Mariama or any other uh, video that the Judo TV is doing, you can clearly see everything is going up except for the criteria for Ippons. It's clearly going down. Now, I'm not saying there's no bad throws or there's no good throws. Uh, what we've seen is amazing from yesterday, but these little hand gestures that Merit throws or even without hands magically like Abe, uh, they do not merit anything. Look at the old generation, how they used to score. Even things that we consider now an Ippon was at best a Wazari, simply because it was maybe a little bit slow, even though he rolled fully on his back or whatever uh, it may be. I understand the whole Abe thing. Uh, at the time, it was catchy to write maybe, uh, siblings are going to the Olympics or whatever so we would rob Maruyama but Tokyo should have been for Maruyama you want to send Abe to Paris this year fine uh, after that he clearly is the dominant one but at that time this was clearly the robbery of a man's dream and it should not have been this way and I remember making a video on it at the time when the fight happened in 2020 and People were saying, uh, we are referees and we do not, uh, especially a fight like this, we don't want it to be won by Shido, so we just let it keep continuing. From my understanding, rules are for trying to get the most objective win possible. And also, when you step on the mat, you already fully agree to the whole notion of rules and this idea that he can make a million shidos but you want it to end with a score and what a score it was is absolutely asinine and they're peddling asininities with these teiwaza that are uh, scoring apparently ippons and uh, wazari so please forgive me if i'm mad but this is absolutely ridiculous i don't want to see the art of judo 
uh, going down at this path where everything is a point just like those touch points in karate or whatever it may be so i don't know what you think please let me know down below because this is absolutely ridiculous and i i don't want to see grand tournaments like these like the paris grand slam and world championships which are by the way far more prestigious than the olympics go down this path please um the ipon should maintain its very prestigious criteria and standards and not just i'll put you in bed like i'm tucking you in and uh, all of a sudden you are a gold medalist it's absolutely ridiculous and also what are these referees thinking so are they thinking, uh, you know what, I've been refereeing all day, golden score has gone long enough, whatever happens next, I'll just award it a score. It seems like that's the, their mentality, and uh, whatever happens, happens. And again, it's, you are taking away a lot from judo if you are encouraging this type of behavior, and nobody should tolerate it, from leg grabs to ridiculous epons to whatever. The whole leg grab thing again i'll go back to it because i will hammer it until it is solved show me one martial art or a discipline or whatever that will take away from its own historical arsenal to please the art of judo nobody will do it but yet here we are so again absurdities upon absurdities again just remember these are the same people that let the athletes fight during covid but then when the fight is finished they're not allowed to shake hands and when they step on the podium they wear a mask as if now they are fully uh, protected this whole thing was absolutely ridiculous and we will see far more ridiculous things i can promise you but again for me as a judoka and as someone who loves judo from the moment of its inception till today and till the day i die i cannot look at these atrocities and just absolute ridiculous epons or scores and say and stay silent i cannot do that i talked about this in the last world championship and i will talk about it now maruyama was robbed i will firmly stand by this not now but any a lot of times when he met abe playing the shido game that wasn't a throw in 2020 he was even trying to hold himself from not falling apart and put his own hands on the mat he wasn't even throwing him and Mariama was already feet on uh, legs on the ground so the whole thing is just ridiculous but i understand you want to send siblings to the olympics it sounds more catchy whatever if you have anything to add let me know this was shady thank you for listening